Tactics Ogre Collective Edition is now available for pre-order right now. As you guys can see, uh, Collective Edition is not accepting reservations, fellas. And I am so excited to kind of show you guys this game. So on sale on Friday, the 11th of November, 2022. And over here, you guys can see the price point, 22,000 yen. And this over here will be a bit of a caveat because this is only available on the Square Enix website itself in Japan itself. But as you guys can see, yeah. Uh, Tactics Olga Reborn Collector Edition is now available in limited quantity. So over here, you guys can see what we get. So this would include the Tactics Olga Reborn game software, a mini soundtrack CD containing game implementations, song recording live from the work, and an official picture with illustrations of Okiho, Shonida, and Tushaba Masayo. We will deliver a three volume script book that contains all the scenarios, a three piece set with the storage pouch and a mat at the tarot cards in this special box. Let me kind of scroll down here and kind of show you guys this really juicy collective edition and oh my goodness man this is looking pretty hot as you guys can see this is available for playstation 5 ps4 nintendo switch as well so it's good to know that we're still getting those in three different platforms but have a look fellas at how awesome that box is looking that is looking really damn dope fellas and three volumes over there and a really nice looking book and a map and some tarot cards as well fellas but that over there is 200 and 34 australian dollars and that is pricey man 234 i'm not sure whether you guys will be picking this bad boy up on the 11th of november 2022 However, if you guys want to pick this up and maybe want to just grab yourselves the official script book itself, I'm actually on the Square Enix store in Japan over here. And as, and as I scroll down over here, you guys can actually see that you'll actually be able to just get yourself the really cool volume one all the way up until volume three. And as I scroll down over here, you guys can see that's 4,000 yen, a lot more cheaper than 22,000 yen, which is around that crazy $232 mark. So that over there should be around that, I would say, $60 mark itself. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think but when i look on the square enix store itself on the e version 2 you guys will be able to see the normal version over here whoops as you guys can see this will only just cost you 50 us dollars over here and that of course is available for switch ps4 and playstation 5 unfortunately there was no collector edition but let me know in the comments below are you guys going to be spending an exuberant amount of money on the crazy collector edition or are you guys going to just be picking up this really cool looking volume soundtrack itself or of course the exuberant but beautiful looking collector edition for 243 australian dollars which is around that 180 us dollar mark which i reckon is pretty pricey honestly and is it worth it is a loot gamer saying this is definitely worth that ludicrous price point i would probably rate this a price point of around 150 australian dollars i reckon that would be more affordable in the us i'd be around the 120 mark itself but let me know in the comments below how much do you think this collector edition should cost or do you guys think it should cost more money or do you think 200 is a bit too much for me, honestly, 200 is way damn too much. We get ourselves no steel case, no statue either. But this game overall, fellas, is looking freaking phenomenal here. But as we can see, yeah, the images are for the different versions itself. And I am really, really feeling it. But let me know in the comments below. Do you guys like this collector edition? Or are you guys going to pass? I am the Loot Gamer. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Deuces.